What's up dudes? This is your bro David here and today I will <coughs> I will be showing you um, some applications that will help you on your day-to-day -day videos to look more professional and more nice. Also to help you in YouTube if you are if you are a you youtuber okay so our first our first app from the phone category is pixart so pixart is a nice wonderful app that will help you help you create custom thumbnails so i said it guys this is the app that i use we use my brother and i to create custom thumbnails on YouTube the, with the text, the blur, the effects, the callout with the cloud here. That's what we use. So it's nice and can has a potential, okay. But even myself <coughs> does not does not know everything that it has can give sorry for the wrong gamma guys so after pixart no not, not after pixart but it's still a great still a great app so the next one the next one which is almost on every phone on apple and Android, but I do not have the Android lo logo, logo yet. So, the next one is voice memo. So, <coughs> this is where I record with earphones the voice memos. See? Look there. I'm rec recording now with the voice memos. Whether if it's Android or Apple, it's still nice. So, so that's it. That's what it can give. So, after the phone category I have no more not no more apps to help me yet so let's go to the computer category this paint.net is a nice application again it's like pixart but the difference is you can create banners here banners for your YouTube or logos for your YouTube and some other things that you can do in your school like I do so after paint.net which is a good application I use share it so share it is a nice interac interactive application not gaming obviously but you can share <coughs> photos videos music from your computer to your phone like this one hmm. so it is nice and this is where I transfer my pixart uh, output from share it to the PC so I can upload it on YouTube after the next one is Adobe Premiere Pro so Adobe Pre Premiere Pro is a uh, it has many hidden secrets not like for Wondershare here I'm not saying that Wondershare is bad it, it's good it's for beginners this is a nice application for beginners <coughs> but Adobe Premiere Pro is like a bundle with many effects and you can also download effects also in Wondershare you can download effects yeah guys it is nice and I do recommend this for some not that good editor that's this is where I got experience and now I use this one I use this um, for my brother if he because he's not that good at editing it he will be soon so <coughs> after that the next and last importantly is the audacity this guys is 
truly a beast. I use this on every video because the audio here that I'm recording now, I pass it to share it and then bang, convert it, convert it with VLC media player. Nope, do not hit, do, do not. I convert it with VLC media player and <coughs> so it becomes an MP3 because when I import the from my phone it says M4A. I tried the the easiest thing like change this there then change it to MP3 but it does not work. So I I use VLC media player instead. Also this one is a nice <coughs> it's a nice application if you want to convert M4A to MP3. That's that's the quickest way guys. And when I edit here it's nice and I would recommend this for beginners so guys after everything I said so we let's jump into the conclusion that's all of my recommended apps from the phone category and the com computer category <coughs> if you are going to wat watch this in the future Maybe I have already made an, another updated video of this with more applications from the phone category and the computer category. Then watch it, not this one. But I do recommend if you want to watch this one and see my past videos, maybe you have, you have, will have fun. So that's all guys for the day and let's see you in the next video peace out